Now let's start on our toolpaths. We're going to go to Toolpath and we're going to select FBM Drill. So starting with the setup on our tree, we'll go through some of these parameters. Now some of these we've talked about before. Some of them we've touched on a little bit. Here we have a sorting option. And when it goes to analyze all the holes, we want it to sort out those holes in some kind of an efficient pattern. So there's a default selection here. Basically the red dot shows the starting point for the pattern and the arrow shows the direction for the first move. So this is going to start from here and the first move will be down in Y to find the holes and then over in X. Now if we click on this we can choose from a number of other sorting options. My preferred method of sorting is to pick point to point. Point to point is the shortest distance between points. Now when we pick that and say OK, it's going to ask us to select a sorting start point. Well, there are different groups of holes in here and it's going to sort them differently. But we just have to pick some kind of a basic sorting point and I'll pick starting from this hole because of course when it does this pattern I can either have it start from this side or from this side. But it's just a basic reference. Now we'll go to the next thing in the tree which is hole detection. For hole detection here it says to include blind holes. Well some of our holes don't go all the way through so we do have blind holes. However you could eliminate those blind holes if you wanted to. Include chamfers. We don't have any chamfers on this part, so it doesn't really matter if this is checked or not. If you had a hole that broke through the edge of the part on the side, you could tell to include split holes. We don't have any of those. I want to limit the search plane to my machined part top plane, the plane that we just created. Then here we have the parameters of what constitutes a hole. What's the minimum size that I want to look for and what's the maximum size that I want to look for? Well, our biggest counterboard hole is 1 and 5 eighths. So I could just as easily set this to 2 inches because it really won't matter. But I could set it to 1 and 5 eighths or something in that area. As long as it's bigger than the largest hole that I want to include. Spot drilling, we're not really going to do anything with this. Pre-drilling, again, we're not going to do anything. We want it to pre-drill the holes before it does anything else. Hole milling. Now this is going to be important because we have counterboard holes. So I want it to acknowledge those counterboard holes, but I don't want to do them with a counterbore. Any counterbore that's equal to or greater than a half inch I want it to do a circle milling operation. Now you could do a helix bore if you want to, but I'm going to stick with a circle mill. Here you can set the ranges for the tools that you want to use to do that milling. Right now it's set to 50% of the hole diameter. Then we have the circle mill itself where we can tell it what parameters we want to use. Do we want it to pre-drill for the circle milling? Or do we want to disable pre-drilling? That's our choice. Do we want to do a single pass circle mill? Well, I prefer to have it do a roughing cut where it helixes its way down. I also want it to start at the center of the hole and sweep out at 45 degrees, helix its way down to the final depth. So I'm pretty much going to leave these the way they are. Next we'll get down to our tools. Now, we don't have any tools in the MCX file, so there's really nothing to look for. I don't want it to create new tools. I want it to use the tools that are in my standard library. And I'm going to select the library that I want it to look at. So when I click on Tool Library, I'm going to select Mill Inch Tool DB. I want it to consider the flute length when it's selecting a tool. Now, if I was creating new tools, I might tell it to create only standard sizes and if the hole exceeds the flute length to make other exceptions for that as well. But we've turned off create as needed. 
Linking parameters, for now, I'm just going to leave these set to the default values. And then we'll come down here to our features. Now under features, I'm going to tell it to detect features. So we have a few warnings here. It's telling us that we need to check the tool. So for this 9 16 drill, there must be some kind of an issue with it. And also for this inch and a quarter drill, well, the inch and a quarter drill is actually going pretty deep. So that could be a problem with the depth or the length of the tool as it is in the library. For right now, we're just going to say, OK. It's going to ask for an NC program name, and I'm going to go with the default name. We'll say OK. So we have no tool assigned for the 9 16 drilled holes. Let's just OK that for now.